Did you burn our water pump? You can see there's water inside there. We're in a pickle. We don't have a spare. Hey guys, welcome to Cherish the Journey. Thank you for joining us. If it's your first time here, thank you for checking us out, checking out this video. We are in the process of doing a renovation on our fifth wheel, making it living ready. And it's coming up real soon. We're gonna be moving into this thing real shortly here. Just wanted to give a short update on what we've done. You saw in the beginning, just a few seconds ago, kind of what we've been going through. So stick around to the end because we did get our water pump and we're gonna show you how to install a water pump in this video, how we installed it in our rig. If you haven't gone and checked out those videos, go check out those uh, see what happened before you watch this one. We got some tires So if you saw in the beginning clips that we had tire blowout, we didn't have a spare tire Well, we got that resolved. We went to a tire shop here in Phoenix a local place that had four used tires and We got a screaming deal on those. They're great tread left on them until we get some brand new tires but we're going to put our money towards some other renovations like we're going to get a second AC unit. We're going to take this skylight out in the bedroom here and we're going to put in an AC unit and show you how to do that. So you got to make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and follow our journey. And with that, let's jump over to what we've been doing to get this trailer ready. Okay, so... We didn't get to record it, but yesterday we finished painting, so now we are going to start ripping up the flooring because we've noticed in certain spots when we're stepping, we're stepping on what sounds like something crunching underneath. I don't think they did a very good job putting the flooring in the people that owned this before, so we're going to rip up the flooring. And as you can see over here, we ripped up a little bit, and it's just this ugly like 2000s laminate flooring but it'll be better than what we have now. We're not gonna keep it that way, of course. We're getting new flooring in a couple weeks and we'll be putting that in, but for now, we're gonna rip up what's here now, vacuum the floor and sweep it and mop it and make it look really nice. As we were pulling up the flooring, we now realize they probably did not clean. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. We pulled up the flooring and there's a popsicle stick and there's a dental floss thing. There's no way that got underneath. And as we're pulling up the flooring, it's not even sticky down to the floor. They just laid it. See, my finger's not sticking. I'm able to easily put my finger up. They didn't put it in right. It's like they just laid it in here and decided that was good enough. So I'm really glad that we are ripping it up there's, and that we're fixing it. There's a sticky part, which is right here. It's kind of tacky, it's sticky, you see the color. But then this side is kind of sticky also. So they put the two sticky sides together. That's not how you do peel and stick tile. I'm sorry. So they did this the wrong way. If you're gonna do peel and stick tile, we're not opposed to it. It's just not our style, but you put your stick it this side down on the surface that it needs to stick to. And then this black stuff, that's when you clean that. And then you peel the sticky part off your tile 
this has a backing too. You peel the sticky, you peel that plastic off so then you can put this on there. So just a little FYI there as well. Um, we're not gonna redo this tile with peel and stick. Like I said, we don't like it. Um, it scratches real easy. So we're gonna get the tongue and groove tiles. We're gonna put down like a moisture barrier as well. Um, it's gonna help with insulation, sound soundproofing as well, and things like that. So let's get on to the next part. Here I am gonna use the old hose clamps because there's nothing wrong with them. And on our new water pump, we have a arrow that points out. That is going to be your outlet that hooks up to your water line here that goes to the RV. Then you have your water coming in. And of course, that's gonna go to the other side. So let's go ahead and install that. So the first thing we did was we're going to hook up the water supply line from the fresh water tank to the water pump and you just kind of have to work the hose on there, turn it and wiggle it so that way it goes all the way on snugly, securely and then you're going to take your hose clamp and you can start it by hand but then you want to finish off by using a six in one screwdriver or you can get a drill gun and use that, but you don't need it super tight. It just needs to be snug on there so that way your water line won't fall off. Next, we are going to install the water line that goes to the RV. And that is indicated on the water pump with the arrow facing out towards the outlet. So that is the side you want to connect the water line to go out to the water pump. So same thing, you just gotta have to work it around, try to get that water line onto the pump, make sure it's seated all the way, and make sure you use a hose clamp to put it on. And just, again, we're just gonna make it snug so that way it holds that water hose on there so it doesn't come out. So now that we have the water lines connected, we're going to untape the wiring and you wanna make sure that your switch is off, the power's off to the 12 volts. On this water pump, it came with a red cable that is your positive side. And so we're just gonna take that off because we already have the same wire on that we never cut so we can reuse that line and we're just going to connect it here then we are going to strip the wire here on the black lead wire and we're going to get that connected to our other black negative wire from the water pump and we have a dolphin connector here that we're just going to put the wires together and use this dolphin connector to crimp the cables together and that way it'll be secured once that is done then your water pump should work 